By taking his son to a boxing practice with Manny Pacquiao's longtime trainer, Justin Fortune, Chris Hemsworth has demonstrated to his son how he maintains action-ready fitness. Fortune, a former heavyweight fighter from Australia who now owns a gym in Hollywood, served as Pacquiao's strength and conditioning coach for more than 20 years and has worked with a number of well-known boxers. While performing pad work with Fortune, the Thor actor demonstrated on Tuesday that his 10-year-old son is already a miniature superhero in a video posted on Instagram. The 41-year-old Hemsworth captioned the photo, saying, When I first moved to Hollywood, I spent many hours at it for boxing auditioning and chasing work. Watching Justin keep my son sharp back here has been incredible. Barry Keoghan, an Irish actor who was training at the time, also posed for pictures with Hemsworth and his son Tristan. Although Hemsworth has been boxing since he was in his teens, his work has always prevented him from competing in the ring. The friend Luke Zoki stated in 2022, he didn't want to ruin that pretty face. Do you want to do a couple rounds in the ring? I used to ask and he would answer, no way. I can't get punched in the face. I'm heading to Hollywood. According to a May report, Hemsworth learned that he is between 8 and 10 times more likely than the average person to develop Alzheimer's while filming the 2022 season of Limitless. The actor withdrew from Hollywood shortly after the news was released because rumors circulated that Chris was either retiring or had already been diagnosed with the illness. He remarked, It really kind of p asterisk 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 ed me off because it felt like I had shared this and been vulnerable with something personal. The imagined scenario is always worse than the reality. Chris stated in an interview with Body Plus Soul magazine in the United States. In addition to accepting his identified genetic tendency, Chris spent a year recuperating from a back injury he suffered while filming Thor, Love and Thunder. Chris, 41, claimed that he has never been more upbeat about his health or about returning to the set in Los Angeles, where he moved for a filming spell at the beginning of October. After hearing the news, he thought, it's very hard to make clear decisions with any sort of precision when you're building or creating all sorts of disastrous outcomes for things. I can make decisions based on genuine purpose and drive during the quieter times of introspection and stillness. In August, he also celebrated his 41st birthday and the fifth anniversary of Center, his fitness and health app. Before taking the hiatus, Chris talked about his life, saying, I would go from job to job and be stressed. I was consistently dedicating an additional 20% of my time. Sometimes it had declining returns, and other times it just turned out to be excessive. He came to the realization that pushing himself to the limit, both mentally and physically, would make something yield, and that someone being on film was preferable to his continued well-being. He went on, I might love a project, but doing it means spending less time at home. Alternatively, I've spent enough time at home that I feel guilty about going to work and decide to stay home instead. And whether you work in this industry or another, that is essentially the everyday conversation that we all have. Thus, he organized a time to surf, ride dirt motorcycles, and ride horses in his expansive Byron Bay compound with his wife Elsa Pataki and their three kids. Whether it was a break or not, Chris soon made a comeback to the big screen with another hit film. Chris who co-starred with the unstoppable Anya Taylor-Joy as the film's antagonist, walked the red carpet with his twin boys in Sydney for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, being a little kinder and gentler with himself. In the gym is a crucial part of preventing burnout, Chris said, as he resumes his regimen of being and remaining in superhero form. Chris remarked, I used to think that I hadn't worked hard enough if I wasn't crawling out of the gym, which isn't necessary. In addition, I'm paying closer attention to my body, exercising patience, and not overdoing it every workout. 